It's open. No, can that be? Oh. It's just Bill. Hi, Sam. Bill. Uh. Natasha. Hi, Bill. Okay, Bill. All the good work you wanted me to do with your money, why don't, mm -hmm. why don't you do it? Nah. It is part of the plan, yes, but it's, it's not my personal thing. I have no interest in nitty gritty. But life is the nitty gritty. It's the small things. I mean, the big picture is important, but if you, if you broad brush your life, it's not truly living. I'll be remembered. Yeah, but remembered for what? What about, what about being remembered for the superstar singer who used her wealth and her influence to help people and to help good causes and to take a stand on a few things that matter to her? That would be a life worth remembering. Sure, you'd, you'd make some mistakes and you... Is that what you're afraid of? I'm not afraid to... Your life's been perfect, right? Right steps, right voice, right angles, right looks. You haven't made a single wrong step. And you don't want to fuck it up by being human, by, by being yourself. No. Bill is right. You're scared. Finally. Thank you. Sam, you promised. I, I know how it feels not to be able to be yourself, to be afraid of it. I know you do, darling. S -s Shut up, S -s sit down. I couldn't be me, and I'm always scared of being me. When I was a kid, I liked to dress up as a girl, and my mom is okay with that. Um, she thinks it's kind of fun. Sometimes I dress up in my sister's clothes, you know, it's fun. Well, obviously, my dad doesn't think the same way. I have to escape. I managed to get that scholarship that, you know, take me to Jakarta, mm. the place that where I kind of like, I, where I learned there's people like me. Mm. I met Abiyasa, sweet, sweet girl. You know, I think she's like one of those kind of asexual mm. person. But anyway, that, that, that's not the relationship. I mean, like, I love her. She, we're so tight, we, we're close. And then, yeah, in, in between semester, I took, I took her back to my village, mm. just to kind of like show her around. Yeah. Well, obviously, my dad was so happy. He was so happy, he even let me borrow his bike. But, you know, there's a lot of people like us. Basically, a, a, a kind of like a gay bar on the next village. Which is, yeah. So, we get there had fun. We met people like normal people like my dad or, you know, like, like everyone, every, everyday people. For a while, I thought there's hope that everything is going to be okay. Whew. 
but obviously it's not. One day, on, my, on our way back home, some, some local thugs grab us and, 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 and took us to the back of this room and they tie me up on this bench and then they start doing all this nasty stuff. Oh my God. Me. Oh my God. <laughs> they hold me. They hold my eyes. They're showing me like how a man should be. And then I, I, I scream, I, I tried to scream. They put a rag in my mouth. Oh my God. And, and then they turn on her. And then they said, I have to do the same thing to her. I'm so, I, I was so scared. I mean, I can see that Abby was just like, giving me a permission with her eyes. Oh, what the fuck? It's horrible. Well, where we were saved by the, the war owner, he came. I don't know what happened next. Next thing I know, once on the back of a, a farm pickup truck, they drop us up just like that, like animals. And then my mom started screaming to my dad. Why? Apparently, he was told by the village leader that something like this could happen to me and Abby. And he didn't even like tell us anything about that. My dad and my mom had this argument again. And I tried to defend her, but he knocked me out cold. When, well, when I wake up, I just saw my mom on the floor laying down. He broke her jaw. He, he broke her eye socket. Uh, Abby's family came a little bit later. And my mom went to her sister. I went back to Jakarta. And I don't know. I, I, I don't want to see, I, I never see them again after that. So yeah, I know how it feels not to be able to be myself.